division. In the previous classes, we have already learned a lot about the division. Let us revise the process by taking up an example. So in a division sum, dividend is the number to be divided. Divisor is the number by which we are dividing. Quotient is the answer obtained after division. Remainder is the number which is left over. Let us now discuss some properties of division. When the divisor is 1, the quotient is the same as the dividend. See the given examples. When the divisor and the dividend are the same, the quotient is always 1. Let us see some examples for this. When the dividend is 0, the quotient is 0. Let us see the examples. Dividing a number by zero is meaningless. Now let us divide 96,633 by 3. First, Divide 9 in 10,000th place of 96,633 by 3. Quotient is 3 and the remainder is 0. Next, divide 6 in 1,000th place of 96,633 by 3. Quotient is 2 and remainder is 0. Next, divide 6 in the hundreds place of 96,633 by 3. Quotient is again 2 and the remainder is 0. Next, we divide 3 in the tens place of 96,633 by 3 and the quotient here is 1 and remainder is 0. Finally, divide 3 in the 1's place of 96,633 by 3. The quotient is again 1 and the remainder is 0. So we get the quotient 32,211 and the remainder is equal to 0. We can check our answer using the division algorithm. That is, dividend is equal to quotient multiplied by divisor plus the remainder. This is equal to 32,211 multiplied by 3 plus 0. This is equal to 96,633 plus 0 which is equal to 96,633, which is equal to the dividend. Let us divide 2,584 by 21. Since there are two digits in the divisor, so we carry out division taking two digits from the extreme left of the dividend. So divide 25 by 21, quotient is 1 and remainder is 4. Bring down the next digit, that is 8 of the dividend to the right of the remainder 4. The number formed is 48. Now divide 48 by 21, quotient is 2 and the remainder is 6. Again, bring down the next digit, that is 4, to the right of the remainder 6. 
the number formed is 64. Now divide 64 by 21. Quotient is 3 and remainder is 1. So we get quotient is equal to 123 and remainder is equal to 1. Now let us divide 29,475 by 35. We know that if the divisor is of two digits, we take two digits from the extreme left of the dividend. Here, the number formed by two digits from the extreme left is 29. And 29 is less than 35. We cannot divide. So we take the next digit also. Now, the number formed is 294. So divide 294 by 35. Quotient is 8 and remainder is 14. Bring down the next digit that is 7 of the dividend to the right of the remainder 14. The number formed is 147. Divide 147 by 35. Quotient is 4 and remainder is 7. Again, bring down the next digit that is 5 to the right of the remainder 7. The number formed is 75. Divide 75 by 35. Quotient is 2 and remainder is 5. So we get quotient is equal to 842 and remainder is equal to 5. Whenever we have to divide a number by 10, 100 or 1000, we can find the quotient and remainder quickly just by looking at the dividend. When we divide a number by 10, the digit in the ones place is the remainder. Rest of the digits will remain as quotient. So let us divide 1895 by 10. Here the quotient is 189 and remainder is 5. When we divide a number by 100, the number formed by the tens and ones digit give the remainder. Rest of the digits will remain as the quotient. Let us divide 72,194 by 100. Here, the quotient is 721 and remainder is 94. When we divide a number by 1000, the number formed by the hundreds, tens and ones digits give the remainder. Rest of the digits will remain as the quotient. Let us divide 74,806 by 1,000. Here we get 74 as quotient and 806 as the remainder.